What characterizes a drone film festival? Well, drone film festival is, well, first of all, our film festival is the first film festival exclusively dedicated to drone cinema, and a drone film is really just one that's been shot with a drone. In our particular case, it's 50% or more shot with a drone, and all the entries have to be under five minutes. All right, under five minutes, 50% or more of the content has to be shot using these aerial unmanned vehicles flying around with a camera. Tell us about some of the uh, features, some of the films that, that people could see in the film festival. I mean, these submissions were absolutely amazing. When I first started this, I was totally unsure about what the submissions would be like. Would they be just somebody picking up a DJI Phantom and just flying it for the first time? Or would they be amazing works of art that people had been creating with uh, more expensive professional rigs? And the answer to that was, out of the 150 submissions that were that were submitted, they were they really kind of ran the spectrum, and uh, they're amazing. They really are amazing. Now the winners are going to be selected on March the 7th. Are people going to be able to view all of the videos, all of the films, while the festival goes on? Can they check it out online? I mean, you can go around and scavenge and find the various links here or there, um, because ultimately when people sh have shot them over the past year, they put them online. I mean, es essentially, YouTube and Vimeo are kind of the repositories for all people's drone films until we've created this film festival, and then hopefully next year they'll create them just for the film festival itself. Tell us about some of the sponsors that want to participate with this. I mean, we have some of the best sponsors in the world. It's, it's pretty much Oprah's favorite things worth of drone uh, drones and drone accessories and all kinds of various, uh, you know, kind of like all of our favorite, you know, things. I mean, they're really amazing. What have you learned about using drones as a method for cinematography? Not just the artistic part of it, but there are human benefits to this. You know, drones, they get a bad rap, which is unfortunate because some of the people that, uh, you know, are kind of... Uh, poo-pooing them the most, which is in the media, could really benefit from them the most. But there's tons of humanitarian benefits, uh, disaster relief. They can, they, they get really interesting and amazing views on things. They can find missing people. They're, I mean, they're essentially, it's, it's a computer with wings. A computer with wings that you have used to capture some images of New York City. How did you first get interested in using drones and cinematography together? Well, I'm a director, and I'm always kind of looking for new toys that are going to get me an interesting perspective. And I saw a shot in a skateboard video, and it just kind of blew my mind. I was, I was wondering how they could have possibly made this shot happen. It just went in, in directions that I've never seen before. And um, I just kept watching and watching, and I paused on one frame, and I saw a flying camera, and I was like, what is this? And I immediately got on the next day and I started buying drones and putting them together. And then when I made Aerial NYC, it went so viral, I was like, you know what, I should submit this to a film festival. And lo and behold, there were none. So, Where can people see Aerial NYC? Uh, they can just, if they Google it, they can find it. It, it got amazing coverage earlier in the year. And, um, but I definitely do not recommend flying like that. That was years ago. And I think now it's, it's, it's a little too hot. I think, I think people should be very careful when they're flying drones, especially in, uh, in this kind of airspace.